number of you indicated um, difficulty finding the missing side or the missing angle of a right triangle, um, which is in Lesson 5.2 for Math 1113. And so I want to take a look at a couple of the examples and work through them for you. And so this question from Newton reads, a right triangle has a hypotenuse of length 33 centimeters and legs with lengths x and unknown. The angle adjacent to the leg, excuse me, with length x is labeled theta. The figure above shows a right triangle with the dimensions in centimeters. If theta equals 41 degrees, what is the length of x to the nearest centimeter? Now, that's a lot of words, but the nice thing is they do give you the picture. Now, it may help you to actually draw the picture on your paper and maybe even label things. The hypotenuse, we're told, is the 33 centimeters, which is already labeled in the drawing that they provide. And we have legs, one of which is labeled X, and the other leg is simply called in this scenario unknown, which means we don't know what it is. And it tells us that the angle adjacent to the leg with length x is theta. We're also told in the problem that that angle measures 41 degrees. So angle theta becomes our point of reference. So everything we do is related to angle theta. That becomes our point of reference. And it's already told us in the problem that this angle is adjacent to the leg with length x. And we've also already been told that the 33 centimeter side is the hypotenuse. So ultimately, I'm looking for the adjacent side I, am, I know the hypotenuse and I know the angle. So then I have to stop and think which trigonometric function involves the adjacent and the hypotenuse. And I hope that brings you to cosine. The cosine of angle theta would be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So that becomes your formula if you will, and then we're simply going to plug and chug into that formula. That's kind of the first decision you have to make is which trigonometric relationship are you going to use for a particular problem. So we would have, when we plug and chug, the cosine of our 41 degree angle is the adjacent side, which is labeled x, over the hypotenuse, which is 33. And then I have, um, it's actually a trigonometric equation, but it also looks familiar like an algebra equation that I need to solve for x. So I would undo the division by 33. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the problem by 33. So I have 33 times the cosine of 41 degrees equals x. And then to get your answer, you're going to have to use a calculator because 41 degrees is not one of the special angles that's on the unit circle. So I'm going to pull up my calculator and it's important to make sure that your calculator is in degree mode because the angle measurement that we had was in degrees. So on my calculator face, I'm going to press the button that says mode. On the fourth line down, it says radian or degree. The word degree should be highlighted in black. That indicates that I am in degree mode. So then I'm going to quit. And I'm ready to type in my question or my problem. So I have 33 times the cosine of my 41 degree angle. And I hit enter. Excuse me. And I have 24.905. Um, I don't recall if it indicated. It says, what is the length to the nearest centimeter? 
which means to round to the nearest hole. So 24.9, and let me write this down for you. So this would be 24.90 in centimeters, but we're asked to round to the nearest hole. When you round 24.9 to the nearest hole, the nine is going to bump the four. So my final answer should be 25 centimeters. Now, I don't think you have to enter centimeters in your answer in Newton, but to stress that you're finding the length of a side, I indicated that it is in centimeters. All right, let's move on to the next example. The next example in right triangle, upper A, upper B, upper C, leg upper C, upper B is labeled 10. Hypotenuse, upper B, upper A is labeled C. Okay, this seems all jumbled, but you can see from the picture, you have a right triangle, which is indicated by the box in the corner. Typically, the C labels the right angle. Side opposite that, which in this case is C, is your hypotenuse. Um, I have angle B and angle A. It indicates that angle A is 38 degrees. B would be adjacent to the angle that we know. Again, remember this 38 degree angle that we have here, that we know this angle becomes our point of reference. And the side opposite that angle would be, is labeled 10. So this is the opposite side. So the question ultimately says find the side length C to the nearest inch. Okay, that's going to require a little bit of work. Um, to find length C, okay, which is the hypotenuse, and I know the opposite, okay, and I have of the angle. So again, I have to stop and think which trigonometric function in this case involves opposite and hypotenuse. Again, I hope that draws you to sine. So I have sine of my angle equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay. Again, it becomes a plug and chug. So I have the sine of my angle, which is 38 degrees, that was given, equals the side opposite is 10 over C, which represents the hypotenuse. So again, my ultimate goal here is to solve for C. It's going to require a little bit of extra math here. I'm going to multiply both sides by C so that I have C times the sine of 38 degrees equals 10. But then again, I'm trying to isolate the C, so I'm going to divide by the sine of 38 degrees. Okay. So we have side C is 10 over, divided by the sine of 38 degrees. Okay, we, it tells us we want it to the nearest inch. Okay, again, 38 degrees is not a measurement that's on our unit circle, so we need to use our calculator. Making sure our calculator is in degree mode, I would have 10 divided by the sine of 38 degrees. Okay, and I get 16.24. Again, rounding to the nearest inch, okay, rounding to the nearest inch, the two after the decimal is not going to cause us to round up, so it's going to be 16. And it says don't include the units in your answer, but I am going to indicate here that this is really 16 inches 
but you would just simply type 16 in to Newton. All right, let's look at one more. A right triangle has an angle labeled theta formed by a leg labeled X and a hypotenuse labeled 47 inches. The figure above shows a right triangle with the dimensions in inches. If theta equals 55 degrees, what is the length of X to the nearest inch? So this is very similar to the first example. Again, though, it may benefit you to label things, okay? The side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse, okay? It says this is, it tells us is adjacent, or it doesn't tell us, but it is adjacent to the angle, okay? And we're told that this angle is 55 degrees. Again, remember that becomes our point of reference. Point of reference. So in relationship to the angle that we're given or that we know, we're, we have are looking for the adjacent and we know the hypotenuse. So again, thinking about which trigonometric function involves adjacent and hypotenuse, that would be the cosine. So the cosine of the angle is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So we plug and chug. So we have the cosine of 55 degrees equals side x or leg x, which is adjacent, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 47. Then ultimately we have to solve for x. So we're going to multiply both sides by 47. So we have 47 times the cosine of 55 degrees equals x. Again, we're going to use our calculator. So we have 47 times the cosine of 55 degrees. We're in degree mode. And we get 26.958. So we have 26.598. And it again, ask us to round to the nearest inch. Okay, pay attention to how you should round. I have five, the five is gonna bump the six, so we have 27. And again, it indicates don't include your unit, so you'll just type in 27, but that does represent 27 inches. Also, um, within that same lesson, you have um, application type problems and again it's a lot of words but it will help you if you will try to draw yourself a picture of what is being described. So I'm going to try to do that as we go. So it says a hiker who is six feet tall. So we have a hiker who is six feet. If we measure him from the ground Okay, he's six feet. He's standing on the ground looking up at the top of a tree. So we've got a tree over here. Kind of a sloppy tree, but we got a tree. And he's looking at the top of the tree. And it says the angle of elevation. Now the angle of elevation is always measured from the horizontal or the horizon. And it says that that angle of elevation is 44 degrees. The situation is represented. The base of the angle triangle is at eye level. The vertical side is the height of the tree. Okay, so we've got the height the tree. Now my picture, they're calling this B. This is the height of the tree. 
It says the distance from the hiker's eye to the top of the tree is 53 feet. So that 53 feet represents, in this case, your hypotenuse. It says based on the dimensions, what is the total height of the tree in feet and round to one decimal place? Okay, so we've basically created a right triangle. Okay, so you have this right triangle, and I know the angle, which is my point of reference, and I'm looking for the opposite and the hypotenuse, I know. So again, that's the sine of theta equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. So again, even with the word problems, you have to stop and think, what do you know and which trigonometric function does that correlate to? So if I plug in what I know, I have the sine of 44 degrees is side B over 53. And then we have to try to solve for B. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 53. So I have 53 times the sine of 44 degrees, which equals B. Okay, so I'm going out to my calculator. Oh, forgot what I was supposed to type. 53 times the sine of 44. Okay, so 53 times the sine of 44 degrees is 36.8. Okay, so B is 36.8. And you may think, well, that's the answer. But remember, the hiker was at six feet. So his eye level is approximately six feet off the ground. So we have to add the height of the hiker in order to get our final answer before you put in the answer. So 36.8 plus the hiker's height of six feet would give you 42.8 feet. So the tree is actually 42.8 feet. Okay, a little tricky because you got to remember to add in the hiker's height. Okay, take it nice and slow, do one piece at a time, and you'll get there. All right, one more before we finish up this example video. It says a small triangular piece of metal is needed to add support to a go kart frame. The shape of the piece is shown in the figure below, and I forgot to add it, so I'm going to draw it in. Okay, so we have a tr small triangular piece of metal. Um, it is a right angle, and it says if the angle theta is known to be 64 degrees, what is the length of B to the nearest tenth of a centimeter? Well, I guess I really did need that picture, and I don't have it. So, unfortunately, let's just, we'll, we'll kind of make it up. Um, but then I don't know the length of any side. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to do that example because I didn't get all of the information since I failed to copy the picture. But hopefully you have enough, and there are other, um, there's another video embedded in the course that has additional examples, so you may want to take a look at it as well.